Well, hello everyone, Aurora Star Crystal here, and I'm back with another episode of Fran Bow. So let's get going. Oh, yes, I forgot how creepy everything was. I think where we left off, we have to go up here. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like it. Turn on the light. Oh! Hello, Fox. Oh god, oh my god, ow, ow, so much cramp, oh god, leg cramp, oh Jesus, oh my goodness, hold on a minute. <laughs> I just came from dance practice, oh she's so sad. I just came from dance practice, I'm not by any means like a professional dancer, but yeah, I just gotta, this cramp, ooh, all right. What is their problem? Poor Foxy Fox. I hope someday I find a fox that isn't dead so I can talk to it. Oh no, Foxy. I wish I could take you out of here. Oh, look at this happy picture. Oh, let's see. The sisters. They have the same jacket that I had in the hospital. It's all the rage. But if they are sisters, why are they so old? Or if they, why, if they are the sisters, the ones back down in the the bottom floor of the insane asylum. Scorpions make me nervous too. They walk with their butt in the air ready to stab you. <gasps> I'm a Sagittarius too! Cool. Just one hat. What a pretty doll. I like the hairstyle. I like my own dress, but those are pretty too. I guess I don't need them. A dusty mirror and some other things. I won't put my hands inside the box. There must be like a thousand spiders in there. The toys in the attic are always... The toys in the attics always carry sadness in them. It's very understandable. I wouldn't like to be abandoned in the attic. That's true. Wasn't it like Andy's toys got put in the attic? And they were pretty- they were sad about that. Is that an angel's head? Oh, it is. Weird stuff you can find in an attic. Okay. Oh, look at this bunny. A bunny doll. Are you waiting for Easter? Do you lay eggs or do you steal them from a chicken? That's a valid question. And how do eggs become chocolate eggs? So much to ask you, I wish you could answer me. I wonder if... Is this the same? Oh no, don't tell me I have to go all the way back up. Oh, Jesus. Okay, let's click on this, that moved. Oh, number two, okay, hi. Oh, hello, little babies. Who sewed you two together? This is really... Hmm. It looks like it hurts. Don't cry, alright? You should smile and be nice. It's time to sleep. Can I... Can you... Nope. Alright. No pleasing you. Okay, at least that doesn't continue. Okay. Mr. Midnight, are you here, kitty? Meow. I hope it's- I hope it's him. Mr. Midnight, don't be scared. I'm here for you. Fran, is that really you? Oh dear, finally! Oh my dearest kitten, it's me! Mmm, kitty! Oh Fran, I'm so happy to see you. I missed you very much. I had a dream about you. And here you are. Thank you for not giving up. I love you, my friend. I love you too, Mr. Midnight, and I really missed you. Oh, dear Fran, how did you find this place? After those people took you away in the woods, I tried to follow them. But after a while, I got lost. Oh, that's Mr. Midnight. My senses were too weak to track you. I tried to catch some food to recover, but something happened. Somebody took me and put me in this cage. I wish no nothing of this had happened to us, Kitty. I will open this cage. Fran, I'm very tired. 
I wish everything was just a bad dream. Everything is going to be fine. We just have to get out of here. Ren, can I ask you something? Sure, Mr. Midnight. What is it? Did you feel my presence in your dreams? Yes, I did. You told me to take the medication and find you. What medicine, Fran? It wasn't really me talking to you. I think somebody was helping us get together. Every time I had dreams about you, I felt the presence of something else. Really? What kind of presence? For what I felt, it wasn't human, but it was really peaceful and kind. That's the real magic! Great to have somebody else taking care of us. Fran, did you hear that? Did you... Oh, I'll see what it is. I'll try to find the key to unlock you, alright? I love you! Oh, she waves. Oh. Oh. Okay. Mm. Yep, surprising. Mm. Let's go downstairs. Mm. Oh, you scared me. I thought nobody was li living here. There you are. We were waiting for you. Where is your head? My head? My head is just in the right place. You, the precious being from the other world, who would ever believe us? I'm con I'm very confused now, ladies. What are you talking about? Frambo, that's your name, right? And in your mom and dad died tragically, very brutal, right? And now you really want to know who killed them, right? That's pretty scary. You're scaring me. How can you know all this? We just know. We have to. We are part of this world. But don't be sad. Things ha Bad things happen to us all the time. Bad things happen to all of us. All the time. I wish I was at home with my mommy and daddy now. Don't wish for things that can't be done. Find solutions and answers. Yes, but the pain I feel is so great, I can't see solutions. Drink some tea and eat some cake. It will make you feel better. Thank you, but really I need to know who told you these things about me. Are you scared, little friend? Of course I'm not, I'm just curious. That's all, I'm mostly confused. You haven't asked about your cat yet, Mr. Midnight. That's very odd for a girl who loves her cat more than anything else in the world. And yet, you look so calm after finding him in a cage. Hungry and scared. Shouldn't it be us trembling fear? Trembling in fear of you? I love him, and that's why I'm here. I didn't mean to be rude to you. You want him back. Yes, please. I really wish to have him back. He is my best friend. Before we set him free, tell us how it is. Tell us about how it is you came here. It's a long story. I escaped from a place, a very ugly place where they open the heads of children to find out what's wrong with them. Phil told me a secret, and I thought it was very- I thought I was- and I was clever enough to find the way out. And then I came into the woods and met a giant ant. And then I killed a bug, and it was terrible. And then I met a rat who wanted to get his hair done. And then I made a door, and that door took me here. Oh, you don't sound crazy. But when I entered the door, something happened. I don't remember anything else. Ah, and I saw a real pinecone family. That's like- that happened- earlier. That was before I came here and they lived in and they live in Mr. An Antonio's house. They like berries. Ah, and I saw flying insects that got stuck in trees because they have long hair. That was also in the woods and now here I am looking for Mr. Midnight. That is some adventure. How old are you, Fran? 
I'm not sure anymore. I think I'm 10 years old. We are 16 years old. Much older than you, so you have to obey us. You can't. Girl, you can't tell me what to do. I don't want- I don't want to obey you. You can't tell me what to do. You haven't even asked our names. That's not polite. And you shouldn't wander around in a house without permission. Are you stupid? A stupid little girl with no family at all. I'm not stupid. I do have a family. I have Aunt Grace and my kitten. Are you crying? Because if you are, you'll get in trouble. If you don't do exactly as we say, you and your cat will die. Do you understand? Yeah, at this point, like, whatever, whatever you need. Yes, ladies, I'll do whatever you need. Good, now listen to us carefully. We need you to perform a little magic trick on us. Do you like magic? Magic is magical. Who doesn't like magic? When it's satanic, maybe. Anyway, this magic is very powerful. It's tremendous and dangerous. Here is the recipe. Be cautious and precise. Otherwise, terrible things can happen. Summon the old lost body. Oh. I don't want to be rude. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. Do it yourself. We can't do it. It would kill us, you see. We weren't like this before. We used to be two different people in two different bodies. But how is that that you are like this now? One night, a long time ago, something appeared in front of us. We thought it was an angel, but it was not. He decided that we should spend eternity together. He cursed us to be like this. We never understood why. We have a spell to bring him back. But we will do that later, when we are not attached to each other anymore. And show him that he is powerless, and he will regret it. Oh, that sounds terrible. I'll try my best to help you. We are going to gather some things you will need for the ritual. In the meantime, you can go and talk to your cat. So that's what little girls do. But we won't set him free yet. Don't even try to open that cage. If you help us, we will help him. I don't trust them. Not for a minute. Thank you. I'll go talk to him. And friend, do you see this key? Can you imagine what can be opened with it? Can you, you silly, silly girl? <laughs> oh, look at them. How do you walk like that? Oh, I mean, I guess they're conjoined twins, so... Like, in IRL, and they figure out how to, like, walk and do everything and live their lives normally. Okay, let's take a look at this magical recipe. Summon the old lost body. Lost in darkness, lost in tears. Your body will your body becomes a lie through the hand of one angel that decides to bring you sorrow. You will need one, the heart of a frog, two, the head of a young virgin. Oh god, that's me, isn't it? Hair and blood from a black cat. A pentagram made of ashes. The burnt body of a fox, which is why they have the fox head in the attic. This must be cooked altogether inside a pot or a cauldron with plenty of water. When you are about to drink this potion, repeat these words. Magnam bu cagnesge o mana irg bonde ir ibure es ibure mon cagasne makuba ibure firun firun. I have no idea what that says. I'm like, did I just call like? Did I just open, like, the spirits up upon me? That's some black magic. Um... Did I take what was- oh, okay. 
a vase to put some flowers in it. It has ashes inside. Okay. Um, I'll need the ashes for the pentagram. the cake now chocolate cake my favorite should I maybe just a little yeah eat it eat their cake okay oh why oh can you it's him again but I haven't taken my pills Can skeletons snap their fingers? I mean, I don't know. It's best not to question, I suppose. Well, he opened the window. Thank you, but who is he? Can I look outside? Oh, no, I don't want that. Oh, I can go outside. Hey, little froggy. Hey, you. Yes, who's speaking? Me. I'm a toad. I got something to tell you. Yes, what is it? You are in great danger. Don't trust the girls. Why do you say that? Look, girl, I'm a toad. And I know I can swim far away from this place. But they won't let me. Every time I try to get out of here, I magically come back. This is how... This house is a huge magnet. A toad and cat magnet. They love us, but they do not give us love. Just to use us. Don't trust them. I don't know. I couldn't make up my mind about his voice, obviously. That's terrible. That's why my kitten is here, then? They gave you a recipe with some kind of magic, right? How did you know that? Did you see the dead girl in one of the rooms? Well, that could be you if you try to do it. She tried, but she uh, did it wrong. But what should I do then? I'm not a clever toad, but if I were you, I would get creative. Huh, creative. I'll try to do my best. And girl, please save us all. I really want to get out of here. Bye. A big, big rock. I'll leave it there. Oh, okay. A long woody plank. I could use something with it. I could do something with it. Bicycle. A rusty old bicycle in the middle of an island. Island doesn't look too big to like ride a bike on. Look at this moon. Moonlight on the water. Sorry, you're so beautiful and calm. I always feel like the moon is following me. Oh, I used to say that a lot when I was little too. I wonder if the moonlight, I wonder if the moonlight does the same job as sunlight. Mm. Okay. Mm, uh, let's. I wonder if it would be the same. Oh, no, hi. Hello again. Doubters need the truth on paper. Doubters. I guess some people believe you when it's written down. That's true. But what does it mean? Who wrote this? I have papers, yes, but what truth? Are you... Why is this? What is this? This looks like veins. My sister is trying to catch me, but I ran away. I am scared. Would you help me? I have a monster inside my head. Can I... Will you... Are you... I'll help you, but you gotta tell me what's wrong. Or maybe that was maybe that was their younger sister. I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah, sent chills down my spine. 
Okay, so... Well, I have a plank now. So let's see if we can do something... Hello, creepy baby. Let's climb up the stairs. Climb up the stairs. And get the plank. Sorry. I I don't even know. I wouldn't know for what purpose. Well, you want to get that bottle, right? Okay, what about what about this? Okay, now will you let me use the plank? Thank you. Let's try this piece of wood. I can't lift it, it's too heavy for me. Well, then, cut the rope. Whoosh. I cut the rope. Wonderful. Very proud of you, Fran. Can you. Oh, I see. I finally found my mouse, so you probably hear a higher pitched clicking noise. Oh, okay, she. Oh, I jumped down. Hmm. Hey, hey! Oh. He got what was coming to him, I guess. So it's like coated in acid. Let's try this. Nice. Oh, I got the paper. This is so exciting. Let's see. Oh, I don't want to use. I like how it says good recipe. Oh. Revealing the true soul. The world hides the truth from you. Work your soul through life, and you will understand the purpose of this act. If you try to corrupt this essence, your soul will be hidden and never see the face of truth. To destroy an impure soul, or to give or give freedom to those who are trapped, you will need one, the blood from the executor of the ritual, two, five black candles, three, ashes to form a pentagram. Four, a blue bloomed moonlight rose. That's a tongue twister. Salt and pepper. Six, hair from the person you want to bewitch. Draw a pentagram with the ashes inside, the black and white square. Oh, draw a pentagram with the ashes inside the black and white square. Put a lighted black candle on every point of the pentagram. Fill a cauldron with water and put the other elements in it. Boil. Pour over the person you want to bewitch, and repeat these words while you walk around the pentagram. Oh joy. Bonte bon de ir irkin o ir begma or ibir nam ibir irg bon de ir irak ekron o ir begma hofmin mon dim gofmia ibir it it itus Ergnimi bogme bu ergon isne. Oh! Oh man. I have a linguistics major friend, and I'm sure he would have loved this pronunciation of this. I'm totally accurate. Every time I say stuff like that, like some weird spell, like you just, you just never know. Like, what if your app actually opens a portal? Then what are you gonna do? Let's just cross our fingers and hope that doesn't happen. What is this? A rare seed. I wonder what kind of flower will grow from it. Huh. It said moonlight rose. Can I, there's a lot of moonlight in that water. Can I do that? be too deep. Oh, okay. Oh. Wow, this is a really nice, this really is a nice blue rose. Quite pretty. Um, blood from the executor of the ritual. Salt and pepper. Hair from the person you want to be rich. Be witch. And what does this one say? Because I'm assuming we want the good recipe. This is obviously the bad recipe where they need my head. Mm. Oh. 
Okay. Oh. I guess I'm executing the ritual. Oh. Yeah, that has to hurt. Why'd you gotta do it like that? That's like the worst possible way. Just like nick your finger. Don't just like stab your whole palm. I don't know what she said. She probably said something about at least now she has her own blood or something. Okay. Salt and pepper. Okay, here's some pepper. Always good to dress the soup. Did the other one need? No. See, like, I think it's funny because it says good recipe and everyone always says that, like, or people on the food channel always say that the best recipes are, um, every recipe should start with, like, salt and pepper to flavor everything. So I think that's funny that the bad recipe doesn't include any flavoring. So it said something about writing something down, cause like, hair from the person you want to be witch. So if I write it down, she apparently knows what I'm thinking. I don't know what that thing is. Oh yeah, so if I write down that, yeah, you need hair, okay, but see, Lesson 101 with forging documents. Don't do that. <laughs> That's like very obvious. Okay. I like how they make it really apparent that you change that. All right, so let's cook stuff up, I guess. Chef Fran, oh. Fran, here are the materials you'll need. Have you studied the ritual? Yes, but I'll need more time. I can't remember all the words. Liar. Well, learn them fast. Let us know when you are ready. Take the key from you. Whoa. Psst, girl. I think you need help with getting rid of this bag. I can do that for you. But I may need it. No, you don't. Trust me. If you want to get out of here, this bag must disappear. I'll take it. You didn't see me. Bye. He's a strong toad. That's like... That's like his entire body. She's like shocked. Okay. So what do I need to do? Oh no, good recipe. Ah, right. I need to get their hair. Oh, ladies. I need a bit of your precious locks. Use tampered bad recipe with twins. Let's hope they don't notice. Look, ladies, there's something I'm missing. I couldn't find your hair in the bag. Hair, you say? There is no hair needed. We know that. Look for yourself. It's written down there in the recipe. That's true. How could we miss that? All right. Now, oh, there. Now get prepared. 16 and still dumb. Two heads aren't better than one sometimes. I'll let you know when I'm ready. Suckers. Yep, this is where they tried to- Oh, they gave me meat. That's nice. Glitch. Examine. Dark hair from the twin's head. So, oh right, we're supposed to do what? Uh, draw a pentagram, put a light candle, fill a cauldron with water, and put the other elements in it. Okay. So, we're gonna uh, use with this. Okay, fine. Well, obviously, Fran, you don't have to, like, you can turn it, put the cauldron underneath it and then fill it up. Water, water in the pot, ready to cook. Very, something very satanic. Okay, let's turn this on. A cooker to cook, my mommy told me how to use this. Okay. Would you like to explain? I don't like to mat light matches though. It always feels like it could burn my entire face. It could. Um, do I have, oh I do. 
fire. Okay. Use some salt and pepper. Salt and pepper into the magical soup. Your hair. Now the hair. Good. Now this beautiful flower. Goodbye, blue wo blue woes. Goodbye, blue rose. In the pot now. My woes are always blue. Uh, I think the blood. There goes my blood. I hope it tastes good. Tra la la. Oh God, that's. You like the taste of iron. Okay, I think that's everything. Blood, rose, salt and pepper hair. So now we need to do the pentagram. Use, I'm assuming here. She's very precise. That's a beautiful print, beautiful pentagram. Well, this worked out great. Very nicely done, Fran. I put one candle here and the other's over there. When did they have time to take a picture with the cat? That's what I want to know. Who took it for them? Pretty fire. Candles lit. Every time the f- the Oh, all right. You're ready. I should show the girls that the potion's ready. Ooh, it glows. Potent blue rose. I made the most incredible magic potion in the world. Yes, you did. I used to do that. I used to pretend to make magical potions and like um, do tarot cards and stuff like that. And every time the power went out, we always I always like lit candles because I thought it looked like the most magical thing ever. I'm surprised with all of my experimentation, like as a child, that I didn't summon like ancient demons. <laughs> Okay, girls, let's do this. Everything is ready. Let's go to the kitchen. Good, let's go. Uh, you ladies first. All right. Please sit down and close your eyes, ladies. All right, what should I do now? Oh. Um. This. Use potion with twins. Yes, please. They should know by now because they're supposed to drink it instead of me pouring it on her. And now I will say the words. Bond ik erkran o ig begma o ibur nam ibur ig bonde ir erkran. Bogma hafmin mongtaim dim gofima ibur ik. Itos irin me bogme irberm isne. Wait a second, that's not the right spell. You tricked us. Oh, she's scared. She's so scared. Ooh, ooh. Oh, oh. Well, at least we separated them. What have I done? Oh my goodness, this is not right. The key, now I can free my dear kitty. I'm nervous. I don't know if the key opens the cage. Oh wait, no, right? I can't. Oh, this the other stairs don't have a door. We're gonna try it, but I don't I don't think it does because Oh she's so scared. Hey there! Go on, Fran. Please let me out of this cage. Find the key. I'ma try. Because they were like, that you can't imagine what this unlocks. What is it, Fran? Open the cage. I can't. The key doesn't fit. Did you see another keyhole somewhere? I don't know. I, I have to look around. I'll be waiting. Hurry up. Okay. I did see another keyhole here in this weird mirror. Okay. The key was for this keyhole, and what's that? A puzzle? 
Um, okay. I see. Huh, this one can't be moved. Hmm. And can I move these gears? I can. Okay. So, this might take a little bit of, like, finagling. I used to do these a lot as a kid, these types of puzzles. But they can be quite time consuming, especially because I don't really know where these gears have to go. Because to me, it seems like they can. This should work out, right? Yeah, there we go. That's not too bad. Oh, that's happy. Okay. Oh, oh, hello. Hello. Well, let me see. Who is Edward? Mother must die. Oh, you. You. Maybe that mommy wasn't a good mommy at all. My mommy was very good. She hugged me many times. That's a blue rosette. I like it very much. Oh, key. This must be the key. Oh, the sisters have a huge scar in the middle. That's scary. Maybe they were two different persons after all. Hmm, the bed and floor look so familiar. Yeah, like the girls in the... The Sane Asylum. Shiny stuff, it looks like a necklace. That's cute. Oh, a pink rosette. Pretty hair decorations. Oh, two-headed doll. It must be a really old doll. It has the same two on it. The symbolism of duality. Pearls, I guess, from a broken necklace. I wonder if they killed her mother. Their mother. Ooh, blood. I wonder why they hated each other so much. Sister promise. We, Clara, and Mia Bah Bahalmet promise to revenge the unfair destiny it were decided for us. With the blood and tears, we promise that we will kill him and bring our bodies back. But we won't stand for this any longer. Even though we are sisters, we hate each other. And we will always hate each other. Nothing will ever change that. But now, with our bodies attached to each other, we cannot complete our task. The strongest will live forever, and the weakest will die. Oh, duotine. My pills are called duotine, too. Hmm, but they got yellow ones. I wonder what's the difference. I don't know. Okay, let's free our little kitty. Do the kitty free and dance. I don't know what that is. Let's use it. I think... I think this is the key. It worked. My dear Fran, it worked. Oh. It worked, my dear kitty. It worked. Come out. Let me hug you. Oh, reunion. Oh. So cute. Oh, the tears. Oh, I wish I had a kitty. Oh, this feels so good. I'm free. Fran, my good friend. Oh, my dear. We have to get out of here. Yes, let's go. Oh, hello, little kitty. We need to get home, kitty. I hope the way back home isn't far away. I hope so too, Fran. We can do this together. I can help you. I figure, you know, it's midnight, so like, deep-ish voice. <gasps> that was the one pet that my parents would never let me have, is a cat. <laughs> we had two dogs, two cha-chows, purple tongues, loved them. They gave no Fs in the entire world. <laughs> I had fish, and I had a bird at one point. Ooh! Hey, Toad, meet my- Did you lick the- Don't lick Toads! I did it, Sir Toad. The girls are gone. That is perfect. Now I can leave this place and go to my family. I want to do that too, Sir. I found my kitty. I just want to go home now and be with Aunt Grace. But how will you get out of here? There's no boat. I thought you could help us get out of here. I would love to help you, but I'm too tiny. Even though my body is quite moldable. It would be impossible for you to carry you both on the other side. 
Let me think about it. Don't leave us just yet, please. Bye. Let me see if that girl's still there. Oh, she's still there. You gonna say something different? Okay, nope. Alright. So... It says it makes things bigger, right? Because I don't want to stab him, that's not going to help me. Feeding him a crayon doesn't seem to work. He's already green. There you go. Take this, Toad. It may help. I'm not a bakery bun. Don't be offended. But you are all slimy and soft like dough. You're right. It may work. Here, it, here it goes. Oh, Jesus. Oh, hi. Whew. It worked. It really did. I'm so big. I feel gorgeous. Oh. Your wife's gonna love ya. Great. Let's go. Come, Mr. Midnight. Sure, Fran. Only one complaint. That giant toad is staring at me. Didn't you just hear what we were talking about? What are you talking about? He wants to help us, that's all. Alright, if he tries anything, I will scratch him. That's okay. Try not to- but try not to hurt him so much while we're sitting on him. The water's deep, and we don't know what kind of creatures are in there. If we fall in the water, we could die, kitty. Oh, I promise I won't scratch the toad. Let's go. Hey, girl. Before we go, I forgot to give you something. I saw you in this picture, so I thought it was yours. Aww. And this book was with it, too. Leon? Oh, toad. You found my family photo. Thank you very much. I thought I had lost it forever, but this book is not mine. Oh, well. Take the book as a gift. It's always healthy to read. It has many pictures. That's my man voice. <laughs> All dudes that I know sound like this when I'm mocking them. Wow, thank you. I like pictures. Well, let's go now. Yes, here we go. Hold on tight. Oh, he looks... I would not... I'd be scared too. That big thing was looking at me. Oh. Just like Frogger? How appropriate. I like like a claymation type thing, that's cool. Is that- I don't think it's close enough, right? Mm, whoop. Bloop. Oh, whoops. Too soon. Bloop. 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 Yay! Level two. Oh god. Oh, I guess that was... okay. Oh god. Oh god! Oh god, thank you! No! I get trigger happy. I will do this. This will be done! I hope a leaf comes- yay! Grass. Oh. <laughs> Let's go, Froggy. Why do I keep doing that? Oh my gosh. About to rage here. No. I just need to calm down, is what I need to do. I wasn't in the right place for that leaf. That leaf was not meant for me. But maybe this raft is. And this guy? And you? Oh. <laughs> in my head it worked out. Just not in reality. Oh. I know I can skip these things, but I don't want to. That leaf is not meant for me. It's just not... It seems like it's the same... Um, the same puzzle each time. So... Yes! Yes! <laughs> Sorry. 
I just saw that um, gif of like the Lion King. They're all yes. Here we are. Jump off me now. Let's go, kitty. Are you talking or? Well, it's time to go home now. I hope you find your family soon, Sir Toad. Thank you. You too. Farewell. Goodbye, sir, and thank you for the ride. Always be polite to people who give you rides to places. Friend, what should we do now? Find the way back home, kitty. Don't you see the sky? It's dawn, and really soon all these scary things will disappear. So you hope. Ah, I'm so hungry and sleepy. I want to go home now. Me too, kitty. We'll find the way. I'll do my best to help you, my dear. Let's go. Let's go, kitty. Oh, what was that glitch? Ooh. Wow, what a tree. I get this... I, my cursor is showing up again. Hmm. It has many roots. I would love to have a conversation with the tree someday. Hmm. Oh, wait. What's, what's this? Oh dear, this bridge looks pretty scary. Oh, Fran, come on. We have to go home. There is no time to be afraid now. Yes, but I'm a bit afraid of heights. Me too. Me too. Um, I can go first, alright. Then you follow me. Alright, kitty. You're so sweet. I'll be right behind you. I have to click on these flowers. Yep, um, bye. No. Alright. I trust you, kitty. Ooh, that doesn't sound good. Let's go fast. Let's go fast. Look at the moon. No, let's go fast. Look at the crows. Let's go fast. Sorry. Go! Friend, wait. Oh god! Mm. You were scary! You were mean! Stop it! Stop it! <gasps> She's bleeding! Oh my dear, I can't hold it anymore. I don't want to die. Look how pretty this is. You won't die, my friend. Come on. You can you can do it. Jump. All right, here I go. I got you. You lied. Fran, no. I mean, you're a cat. What what'd you think? You'd be like the whole Simba thing with Scar and Mufasa. Don't be afraid, Fran. We always fall. And after the pain, we will always rise. Who caught her? Oh. This could all be a dream. Oh dear Aunt Grace, don't ever leave me. Don't cry, my little girl. Your heart is pure, but your mind is somewhat tormented. You have to stay and walk your own path. Please, Aunt Grace, why won't you just take me out of here, please? You'll just leave me all alone, like my mother and father did. Oh, she got issues. I'm sorry, my dear friend. You will soon understand. Aww. Aunt Grace, no. Don't go, please. Please. Fran, it's time for your new medicine. symbolism Ooh, this is pretty can we just stay here this reminds me of the flowers that we kind of saw right before we climbed the tree they're beautiful Ooh, what happened where am I friend where are you hmm is she naked these are Fran's stockings. One of Fran's shoes. Fran's shoe. 
Tree with eyes. Um, okay. So, I'm gonna cut it here. Uh, it's been quite a crazy ride and adventure today. So, that'll do it for me. Have a great Valentine's Day weekend. And, yeah. I'll see you then. Bye!